Hey everyone, Val here, and I have a mail call today. I have stuff to show you from our uh, from the Heart Stitchers banquet yesterday, and I have something came in from an order that I ordered. So let me go through everything. Uh, first of all, I went to the From the Heart Stitchers banquet yesterday. I went with my friend Mary. We goofed around a little bit, had a lot of fun. There were vendors there. We checked out the vendors. Uh, they had a couple of speakers that we watched. It wasn't really as motivational as it's been in the past. Uh, we did enjoy it. They did their giveaways. They always do some raffles and some giveaways and stuff. They did that, but it was very <clears throat> slow moving and not as great as it's been in the past. I'll just leave it at that. It was kind of a weak banquet this year. And we did have a good time. I'll insert a couple of pictures of uh, Mary and I at the banquet. Uh, we always bring knitting with us so that we can knit or crochet or do a craft while we're listening to the stuff going on. I took a hat and I had the white part done on the hat and I rolled up, this is the cuff I rolled up, but I was knitting the green part and I got like that much done on the hat. I just had to finish decreasing and put the little ball on and sew up the, the side of the hat. So I finished the hat, I already had the booties done, so I have another, this is three to six months size. <clears throat> I have another one completed, so I'm happy about that. It's getting cold out at night we're resisting turning on our heat so I have a little bit of sinus gook going on so forgive me if I'm coughing and clearing my throat but <clears throat> that's that's how it's going right now everybody got a little gift for going to the banquet so this was our gift in this cute look at how cute this little bag is that somebody made they made all these bags and in the bag they had, uh, they had these look like little sunglasses with their uh, scissors, which I thought were super awesomely cute. There you go. The compact scissors. They have a From the Heart Stitcher measuring tape. And they had a darning needle, a yarn needle and some stitch finders or stitch holders here which I really don't use very often <clears throat> but that's okay I like the scissors I always using a measuring tape and uh, I do a lot of sewing so or you know binding in my ends of my yarn so it's always good to have an extra needle and then the yarn they had some yarn in these bags that they passed out to us so these are the colors that I got. This is really thin yarn. This is sock yarn, I guess. Uh, I don't knit socks. I can knit socks. I don't really knit socks. Uh, but I don't know. I, I may donate it back. I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's just soft. It's really soft yarn. I guess you could do other things with it. Uh, stuff it back in the bag. There we go. All right. What else do I have here? They have a. They have two tables of books. Like people that are done with their sewing or knitting books or crochet books. They donate them to From the Heart. Other people, you know, cleaning out their bookshelves, donate books to From the Heart. So they have a couple tables of books there all every year, and they say just take what you want. It's free. So I went through it and they kept saying, take more, take more, take what you want. So these are some of the books I got. I got Hand Knit Christmas and this has some Christmas ornaments and stuff in it. I thought were super cute and this is knitted and I, I wanted the knitting books. I don't want crochet books because I don't really crochet and follow a pattern. So <clears throat> these have, this has a pillow in there and, and some little... Uh, Christmas ornaments and stuff which I thought were cute so I got that book those two books this is baby knits I love my, doing my baby booties and 
and hats and stuff. So there are some uh, baby booties and stuff in there. They also have this teddy bear in there, which I think would be super awesome to try to knit a little teddy bear. So I may try to do a few of those uh, because that's a great comfort item for kids too. So I'll see how that goes. Uh, they have the little blocks. Those are cute. You could always put numbers or something on those and have the, you know, the knitted soft number blocks for the babies. I want to learn quilting this year. This is one thing on my list. I've been doing the table runners as simple quilting ideas. But they had a patchwork quilting book with different styles. And and uh, this is uh, Christmas bear patterns and, you know, little Christmas ornaments in there. Christmas stockings. Uh, quilted baseball cap. Well, that's kind of cute. Uh, lots of fun stuff in here. Uh, aprons, quilted aprons. I don't know. I like this book. So I got that book. Then there's accessories. These are knitted accessories. A lot of this is gloves and half mittens and half mittens with half fingers and, um, stuff like that. So I'm, uh, I'm was looking for some patterns of half mittens. I know my mom gave me one pattern, but I know there's different variations of it, and there's gloves in here and scarves. Uh, so I did, I pulled this book. They kept telling me, take more books, take more books. So I said, okay, I'll take books. I like knitting books. So this is another one. This one has some <clears throat> cute little mice in it. Uh, some sweaters. I don't really knit sweaters. I've knit sweaters before for my daughter when she was younger, but I don't really knit sweaters now. But this does have some purses in it, which I think, yeah, that might be cute. It has some knitted placemats. And uh, let's see what else it's got. Chair cushions. Different little ideas in here, which are cute. Pillows. Uh, I'll see. That's that's not a bad book. And this is Knitting to Share. And this one has different little, uh, you know, like hats in it. And socks. Sweaters. This has a uh, half mitten. <clears throat> which is very pretty. This one's very pretty. So I might actually try to do something like this. I like the design on this one. <coughs> mm. Shawl. That shawl's pretty. But this has, uh, and there's another little booties pattern. So lots of fun little things in that book. I got some fancy handbags to knit. I got uh, finger puppets. I don't know if people still do finger puppets, but uh, they are cute. There's the monkeys and kings and queens and bears and Santa Claus, penguins. I don't know. Just fun. Just fun stuff that would be quick. a quick knit. Those would be a quick knit, I think. And then I have two books that are plastic canvas. And my mom loves to do plastic canvas. And my sister loves to do plastic canvas. Though they had one seasonal and one of the uh, Christmas one. This has some Easter stuff in it also. But, <clears throat> I, I mean, I can do plastic canvas. I don't do it a lot. But uh, this has some super cute stuff in it. So I got these so I could share these with my mom and my sister. They have some cute little Easter baskets in there. They have... Uh, Christmas uh, gift card holder things. I don't know. I just thought it was cute and uh, I may try to, to work on some. Now that I'm retired and I have more time, why not, right? And the seasonal book has uh, all kinds of little Halloween plastic canvas stuff in there. I thought it was super awesome. So I have some books to play with and some stuff to make so it'll give me some stuff to do in the new year because I have plenty of stuff to keep me busy for the next month to get ready for the craft fair. 
and then we have the Christmas and uh, any mission stuff I'm doing over the Christmas holidays. I can still be doing my knitting and stuff, but that's what's going on with that. Now, they had a raffle. They've had several raffles throughout the day as well as bingo and different things like that. That was fun. I did win two raffle prizes. Okay, I bought the $20 worth of tickets. The money goes to help support the uh, building. Uh, goes into, you know, providing heat and stuff in the building. So the funds they raised with the banquet. <clears throat> but the first one I won was this little guy. Is he not super cute? Somebody knit his little booties. Somebody knit his little hat. And somebody knit the blanket. So this is super, super cute. And uh, I love it. So they had like lots of three, three different things. So if they called your number, you got to pick which one. And the last number called, got whatever was left. Uh, they happened to call me first. So I got a pick of the three items in that, in that lot that they were um, raffling off. And I picked this one because I thought he was just too cute to pass by. So he was the first thing I won. And then the second thing I won was this doll. Isn't she cute? Look how cute she is. She's totally knitted and stuffed and just super, super cute. So those are the two items I won. So happy to win something. Uh, I think last year I won some tie-dyed material or something. <clears throat> that was pretty cool. But these are very, very cute. So thank you to whoever donated those. That That's fun. And those are cute wins. So that was it for the banquet. Um, it was a nice day. It was good seeing Mary. It was good seeing all the stitchers in there. A lot of them I knew from last year or I met last year. <clears throat> Some of them I know from the building when I go over to From the Heart. You know, you recognize the people that are in there working. So it was good seeing everybody. I did get one thing in. I, I placed a lot of orders with uh, Walmart, Target, and Amazon. So this is one of the things I ordered. And this was, I think it was from Walmart. And this is to help me out in my sewing room. And this is a mat for cutting material. This is, my sisters cut their materials on a cutting mat. I don't do that, but I watch them do that. It seems easy enough. So I told them I was going to get a cutting mat. I was going to try it out and they could supervise me, you know, because we all kind of work together. They're up on the portal and they're, we kind of support each other. We'll say, what do you think of these colors together or this or that, and, or give me an idea how this should go. And we all kind of help each other out with their, their uh, designs when it comes to um, quilting with my tablecloths, with their quilts that they're doing or whatever it is, handbags that they're making. My sister makes a lot of handbags and she taught us how to square corners off and all that fun stuff. So like this bag has squared corners on it so that it has a little bit of a bottom to it. So she taught us how to do that, how to square the corners. Um, and I can use this. It, this will be good for making straight cuts. I do have the, the ruler and the Fisker cutter and everything now. So I can play with this now and see if my quilting will go faster or my cutting of material anyway will go faster than drawing it out and cutting with scissors. This should make it a lot quicker. So that's all good. All right, now I have mail call. I went to the post office on my way home yesterday and I picked up a couple of things out of the mailbox. My first thing is from Remy and she's out in Las Vegas, Nevada. And this is cute. Look at the little uh, Halloween she's got on there. See, happy Halloween. Very, very cute. So let me open this up. I'm trying to see if I have a opener near me, but I don't. So I'm just going <clears> to <throat> try to 
get the envelope open. Thank, oop, thank you. I'm, everything's falling out. So here, I'm going to do it like this. She's got confetti in here. Halloween confetti. There you go. Very cute. Oh, this little, uh, what is it? Oh, it's a pumpkin, I think. Is it? Is it upside down? Oh, there we go. Have a spooky sweet trick-or-treat with all the chills and thrills you can handle. This is a dear Val and Steve wishing you a happy spooky season. Um, best Remy. Thank you, Remy. This is so sweet for you to send this. I got the, the little stickers. Things are sticking on it. But there you go. Love my little Halloween card. Thank you so much. I'm going to pick up my confetti. It's static clingy. All right. I appreciate it. Really do. Um... I'll keep it in here. All right, and my second one he comes from Lori Jean Fanella, and she is Woman's Station Channel is her channel, and she is a songer, singer, songwriter, and poet. And I, I can't get these things from not sticking to me. Spider on me. <clears throat> so, oops. So let's open this up and see what she has sent me. And I just was in a live stream last night with Gail Crabtree and Lori was in the live stream. She actually came on and read a poem, uh, which was very nice. And I'm opening up her package and she sent me a book. Make sure that's it in there. Okay, and it's Finding Passion Through Truth, a book of poetry by Lori Jean Finelli. Fenella, sorry, Fenella. Um, <clears throat> so this is the book. She was talking about this book last night on Gail's channel. So my mom also, I don't know if she knows this or not, but uh, Lori, if you're watching this, my mom also writes poetry. My mom's 90 years old now and doesn't do it as much as she used to, but my mom had books published in the past, uh, little poetry books, and... Uh, she may be interested in reading this too. So I'm going to read through this and uh, look at your poems and uh, tell my mom about it. So thank you very much. This is very cool. And thank you, Remy, for the card. And thank you all for supporting the channel by watching. Um, it was a fun day yesterday with the knitters. I got some really cute things. So, And I got, I got a hat knit. <laughs> so that's all I got for today I don't want to uh, have this I think I'm at like 18 minutes or something 18 and a half min minutes I appreciate it everybody um, have a happy Halloween I'm sure I will say that a few more times it's it's the beginning of October um, happy fall and I'll catch you all in the next video give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to and I will talk to you all later Bye now.